Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chris, this is World Bonnets Gaming, and we're playing Calibria Crystal Guardians. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the holiday event, which is Puzzle Battle, and why it's worth doing it. Um, so, essentially, completing this Puzzle Battle, this event, is going to be equivalent to around £30, uh, a £30 pack, uh, as valued by the game itself. Um, so definitely something that you, know, you should all be trying to get completed. Um, and you don't have to spend any money on this. It's an event that you can uh, do without any you know, serious drawbacks. And you get rewarded for it. So always worth doing. So this event started on the 22nd of March. And it lasts until the 7th of April. So that gives you 16 days to complete this event. Uh, this video is... I've been a bit delayed getting this video out there. Um, so there's a lot less days to do it. But essentially, to get the ultimate prize in this, which is the, which is the L&D scroll... You have up to the what do we have up to we have up to the 30th of march i believe um after this point the lnd scroll will be off the table but you can still get a lot of the other rewards uh this game this event has to offer so like, assuming you play in this game you should be able to be doing should be doing the dailies anyway so you should be okay to get that okay so there's a little section here um how we get these uh pieces so we generally we get a big puzzle board to fill out um, we've got rows down here and we've got columns, four rows, eight columns, and each one of these letters and numbers, well, each one of these letters corresponds to a different puzzle piece. Um, so uh, for zone A pieces, these may drop in main stages. Uh, so basically whenever you're farming your heroes, you're going to be getting pieces for this. Uh, mine's fill up full already, so this is like fairly easy to get. I mean, all of these are easy to get. You just need to keep doing these repeatedly until you get them. Uh, so this is going to be zone A is going to be a good idea to try and get all these pieces. If you're like popping a uh, XP boost and you want to get some grinding done on your heroes to level some up, doing a bit of farming is going to be a perfect time to get these. And you can do these at any point during this event. Um, you know, you can get more than these, more than one piece in like uh, like a few hours of grinding. Um, so as you can see here, we've completed these. I think we're like four days in. This is the fourth day. I've already got like this part filled. So you can get multiple drops per day uh, for these ones. Uh, so second pieces, zone B pieces. These drop from catacombs. Um, so okay, same kind of scenario. Uh, to get these to drop, you want to be running catacombs repeatedly to get these to drop. Um, so I've been farming for a few runes, but I haven't been going overboard. And as you can see, it's kind of like reflected in this, like half of the, half of the rows done. There's still a few pieces to get, but again, you can just keep farming catacombs about what you're farming, whether it's rune pieces or, um, uh, evolution pieces. Uh, this next one, zone C pieces, main drop in the arena. Um, again, this is just doing arena battles. So keep doing your arena, your arena dailies. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big PvP person in this. I mainly do my arena just to get the the free gems from doing the fixed fight battles. So I do that. And then with, with any energy I've got left over, I just do some random battles. And then D section D is for doing your dailies. So this is where the like the 30th of March comes into play because um, there's eight. It takes eight dailies to complete this so you want to give yourself enough time to do it if we start doing our dailies on the 30th then by the time we get to the 6th of april that's to cover all our dailies get all these pieces filled so as you can see i've got two here so once we obtain these puzzle pieces from certain er those certain areas i've just done my dailies so i've got another piece to do just click on this button and it reveals a piece do the same again um so because we hit that button as well and reveal some pieces we get these daily rewards. Um, so every time we, uh, like I said, every time we remove a piece, we get these daily rewards. We can claim these. That's 30 energy and 50,000 Kalanite. That's sent to the coffer. Brilliant job done. Um, so uh, as anyone who plays this game, you should be doing your dailies anyway. So that should automatically give you a piece from day one. You should be uncovering these. And even once you've completed this board and there's no more... Uh, tiles to unlock it still continues to reward this daily on a daily basis so it's one win and getting these 
Um, so now for the rewards. These are all the rewards on here. So you get these rewards for activating a, a row, which is A, B, C, and D. And then all of these rewards for activating your columns. This is the ones that go down. So there's eight of those. Um, and there's some pretty nice, pretty nice rewards on here. But the biggest one is the LMD scroll. This is the one that everyone wants to get to be able to get some of the some of the rarer heroes in the game. Um, but I'm more excited for their scale cat. I always need scale cats. So uh, total prizes. So if we're doing this. Uh, which everyone should be as it's a kind of it's a free event um, and we should be doing most of this stuff anyway so this kind of should sort itself out by itself all you just need to do is come in here and click on this button to unlock your daily rewards uh, so let's talk about the total prizes in this so what you get so just for doing these on a daily basis and clicking on this button for the for the whole 16 days so in total that's four, 480 energy and 80,000 Kalanite just from doing this, just from clicking on a square daily. Um, and then the total prizes are a Mystic Summon Scroll. You get three of those, a, one Lawful Summon Scroll, one Chaotic Summon Scroll, one Evil Summon Scroll. You get a 12 hour XP boost. Um, 200,000 Kalanite from here, which equates to 1 million Kalanite from this event alone. Uh, gems, we get 75, a 3 star ascension cat, uh, 50 void summon stones, 1 skill cat, and then 1 LND scroll. So that's quite a few prizes from this from this event. Uh, okay, and let's just compare it to some of the recent packs that came out. If we look at this, this is the limited events. So these are kind of like the deal packs that you can get. This is, these are the hero packs. Um, and they're asking for 30, 30 pounds for this or and let's just see what we get from this we get five summon scrolls um, these are three to five star summon scrolls of a certain faction we get 800 gems 50,000 kalanite I mean, come on that's not that great and 50 stamina for 30 pounds so if we just compare it to what we're getting from and that's like all of these 30 pound ones it's, the only difference is the uh, faction that you can roll on yeah, so let's just compare this um, in terms of prizes that we get from the event. So in the event, we're getting six summon scrolls that can summon between three and five star heroes. So same percentage again getting a five star, uh, a nat five star, a nat four star, and nat three stars within these scrolls. But we're getting one extra in the event. So we're getting six in total, and we're getting five in the heroes pack. Only difference being in with... Uh, paying for the hero pack you can kind of choose which faction it rolls on however that kind of makes it less effective anyway in this game because you can re-roll heroes in terms of Kalanite you're getting 50,000 Kalanite for paying 30 pounds um, in the event you're getting 1 million Kalanite so that's sorry Kalanite I'm, I'm always saying that wrong Kalanite that's 1 million Kalanite so obviously that's a massive boost over this pack and then stamina you're only getting 50 stamina when you pay for this um, in the event, in total, you're getting 480 stamina. Again, that's a big increase. However, the gems, you're getting 800 gems when you pay for this. I guess that's really... I mean, they put the different packs, like choose your summon packs on these heroes, on the hero packs. Uh, but really, gems are the biggest benefit from these, in my opinion. You're paying literally 30 pounds for gems. So obviously, you're getting a lot more gems in these packs that you pay for. Um, you're only getting 75 gems in the in the event if we convert the gems into the prizes that we're getting uh, So 750,000 Kalionite that's gonna be 500 gems uh, so for me, I, you know, my max stamina is 83 so that's gonna be uh, 150 gems worth of refills we be able to get 430 stamina from the event. I'm taking away 50 stamina because we get that in the pack that we pay for um, and then we get 75 from the event anyway, so that's 725 gems. So that gives us 75 gems. I would have got this from this pack to play around with, you know, in terms of, you know, we could probably buy another summon scroll or something. That's 75, yeah, so we could probably just brought another summon scroll to like, to match the value of the actual pack. So I've just been rambling on a bit here. Uh, but yeah, so generally in terms of this event, the value of this event is um, around the same equivalence to a hero's pack that you can just buy 
However, there is one huge benefit to this, is the fact that we get a light and dark scroll from this event. Uh, so that's going to boost it up. So doing this event is m worth more than these £30 packs. So guys, everyone, click on this event, hit your button daily, reveal this puzzle, get all your pu puzzle pieces in, and yeah, enjoy your rewards, guys. This is a free event to everyone. Um, so enjoy. Hope you found, if you found any of this content helpful, then please click that like and subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care, guys.